guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Teacher Raft. This is Twilight Zone episode 87. This is just a continuation of episode 86 about the winter storm suddenly appearing in Texas and the south. And now I want to show you this website, poweroutage.us, and it'll show you the color coded map 10,000 to 100,000 outages. So red, obviously, is the biggest, most major outage area, followed by orange and then yellow. So quite a few states are being hit right now, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 states, looks like. And if we go down here, it'll tell you the amount of people. So Texas, top areas of outage, Texas. 4,320,801 people are being affected. Oregon, 280,000. Kentucky, 150,000. Louisiana, 111,000. West Virginia, 81,000. And this was just updated about 20 minutes ago. So you can see that over 4.5 million people. How many people? It would be 4.678. So 4.9 million people don't have power in the United States right now. 4.9 million. And just suddenly, uh, a, a winter storm appeared out of nowhere. The temperatures were supposed to be about 65. And now they're hovering about around, what, 5 degrees in Dallas? 5 degrees, and they're supposed to be 65. And they're five degrees in Dallas and like, I don't know, 18 in Houston. It's just crazy. Let's look at this map, outage.report slash US. And this will tell you, now I think this is dated, like it's still the 15th, but if you scroll down here, it says the 15th. So I get, maybe it's a day out. So outages in the United States, YouTube, and it tells you the reports, like there were 12 reports and then it'll tell you where. Hulu, T-Mobile, 140, Cox, 90, X-Infinity, 236 reports. And then it'll tell you the area, Houston, Portland. It's, you know, those are the power outage areas because of this winter snowstorm, 50 to 60 degrees negative compared to what the temperature just was like, what, three days ago? Unbelievable, I don't believe in these coincidences. Again, 119 reports, AT&T. So you scroll down, 411, 959 spectrum. And then it'll tell you February 15th. Well, today's the 15th, so this is probably the 14th, okay. So yesterday was less than today, but still there were reports yesterday, 75, 44, 47, maybe that's normal, but Spectrum 296, is that normal? 120, and then the, let's see, the 13th would have been pretty normal, looks like 29, 127, 260 Spectrum again, so maybe not so normal. Let's see if this will load and give us another day. If not, we can just move to the next page. Okay, East Coast Power Outage Map. This is the website, wtop.com slash east hyphen coast hyphen power hyphen outage hyphen map slash. The map below contains current power outages across the East Coast of the United States. This map is updated every 10 minutes. So as you can see, it's still February 15th and it's the East Coast southern end is being affected that's what it looks like but it looks like it's color-coded but everything's in green so I'm not sure what this means the this is some type of specific power outage it can't be the same as this because this is reporting 4.9 million people without power and this is reporting 26,000 West Virginia, 18,000. These are counties here, Wayne, Putnam, Lincoln, West Virginia. 
And then we have North Carolina, 66. So I'm not sure what this map entails, but it's another map to explore. And then we have the internet outage map, which actually doesn't seem that bad. 30 outages in 26 locations doesn't seem bad. I mean, I've come to this map before and it said 64 and on on a normal day without some crazy winter storm out of the blue 50 to 60 degrees negative compared to the normal temp so it's a very strange occurrence but I wanted you guys to be cognizant of these websites so you can go and take a look on uh, whenever you have time thanks for listening thanks for taking a look hit like hit subscribe leave a comment and remember be safe <laughs>